Hello, friends. Happy Monday. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022 and welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome to my replay. It feels really good to be back. Um, I hope everyone had a great holiday. My name is Robin and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations and I'm also an independent designer with Chalk Couture. So tonight we're going to be using our um, January 2022 Club Couture Transfer. It says, love is not just looking at each other, it's looking in the same direction. This is an exclusive uh, transfer that only club members and Chalk Couture designers can um, get. So if you have any questions about um, getting this transfer, just let me know. <clears throat> These transfers are, hold on before I get started. It's been a while since I've done this, so I've kind of lost my rhythm of it. Um, once you hop on, say hi in the comments, tell me where you're watching from. I happen to be in central Kansas right now. It is 37 degrees and we had some snow over the weekend, so it does finally feel like winter. So again, let me know where you're watching from. Tell me what the weather's like where you're at. Um, I want to let you know that I am live in three different locations this evening. Um, I am using an online platform called StreamYard, and there is Puddles right there on the screen. StreamYard allows me to go live in three different places this evening. I'm live on my Facebook business page. I'm live in my private Facebook group, the Robin's Egg Blue Creations Crafty Collab. And I'm also live on my YouTube channel. So if you happen to hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your uh, comment feed, that viewer may be watching from another platform. So I just want to let you know about that. Um, also, I want to apologize if I start coughing or if I have to pop a cough drop or get a drink. Um, I was sick um, in November and uh, kind of my running joke is I can get athlete's foot or pink eye and it goes to a chest cough that lingers for about three months. So I had a sinus infection and it has now manifested into a chest cough that will probably linger until July. So I apologize ahead of time. I see that Jason is watching from the other side of the door. I also see that uh, Chris is on. Hello. Uh, you might notice i am got a little bit of a different background behind me. I've actually my we blew up my craft room i built a whole new craft table or jason and i did and it's actually turned a different direction i have a ton more space so i shouldn't run out of space so i may be playing with camera angles a little bit over the next couple of weeks until it gets comfortable for our, for all of us so kind of bear with me and we will go ahead and get started on the project so like I was saying before, this is our Club Couture transfer for the month, um, and I will talk about how to join Club Couture and what those benefits are at the end of the video. But this is a reusable silk screen transfer, and I'm actually going to remove my mug from this. Oops. I'm going to adjust something really quick. Take that off. There you go. So this is a removable silk screen transfer. It is adhesive backed. And so anywhere you see the clear um, part of the transfer that is, <coughs> excuse me, that is a silk screen material. These are reusable about eight to 10 times depending on how well you take care of them. So because they are reusable, I'm just gonna write the name of the transfer on the back and I'm gonna put 122 club. That way I know it was the club transfer. That way when I'm done cleaning this transfer and I um, take it to my utility sink or whatever, typically I would take it to a utility sink to clean it, but I'll show you a quick, easy way to clean it tonight. But this way I know that once it's clean, that this transfer goes on the back of this backer sheet and that this is the back side. Yeah, I do have a ton of space. Like, there's about <coughs> two feet on this right side and about another foot on this left side and about two feet um, in front of me. So there's lots of space. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, so that is the transfer. I'm going to be using this 9x12 Grayson board. 
these boards are no longer available, but I did put a link to the Sylvie board. It is pretty much the same uh, chalkboard surface. It just has a thicker frame and it, the frame is white. Um, but I had this in my stash, so I'm trying after cleaning up my craft room and realizing how much stuff I really have, I need to start using up some of these surfaces that I have. So because this is a silk screen and adhesive transfer, it is super sticky on the back. And so the first couple of times that you use a transfer, you do want to fuzz it a little bit. You can use any terry cloth towel. Um, you could use your shirt. You could use a throw pillow off your couch. <coughs> and your pants. You just want to get a, a, a thin layer of lint on the back so that it's not super sticky. That way, um, when you pull off your transfer, you don't stretch it um, and distort the uh, silk screen. I'm going to go ahead and butt the top clear up a, um, on the edge of the frame because I'm going to do a little bit of embellishing at the bottom. And I'm just lining up my transfer from side to side, top to bottom. And then I'm just going to adhere it down, making sure that I get all of those air bubbles out and that there aren't any wrinkles in the silk screen material. I do see a piece of fuzz. So I'm just going to get that piece of fuzz off. And lay it back down. So if you are a club member, you also receive three paste single packets with this transfer. And the paste colors this month are Shimmer Silver, Raspberry Sorbet, and Peony, or Peony, however you want to say it. <clears throat> I'm not, and here is what, I don't know if I can get this close enough. Here's what it looks like in the example um, where they've used silver. Let me see if I can get that a little bigger. So that's kind of what I'm going off of, although I think... I may trade out silver for, <coughs> excuse me, couture teal. I don't know though. So I'm, I'm kind of torn. I thought I was going to like the teal, but um, I don't know. I also, here's my ribbon. So actually, I think I may, we'll do it just like it looks in the picture. It'll be easier that way. Plus, I think it'll, there's sequins in this ribbon, and I think the silver will tie in a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and, my apologies, I'm going to pop a cough drop. Okay, so, get my towels out of the way. So, let's open up our paste. So my raspberry sorbet is the new creamy formula. They have reformulated the paste. Before it was more of a, it had a thicker consistency. I don't know if you can see, this one is actually, it was shipped during the winter and it froze. So it looks a little bit like cottage cheese. Um, but this is the new creamy formula and it's not supposed to freeze and it's not supposed to um, get thick or harden up like the old paste do. So I'm going to make sure because this peony is the older formula and it's probably probably needs quite a bit of water. I'm just spraying a little bit of distilled water in here. And I'm just going to stir it around a little bit just to get it to a little thinner consistency. <clears throat> Did everyone have a great holiday? <clears throat> did, you, did anybody do any traveling over Christmas? Once again, if you hop on, say hi in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. Oh, it's a little better. Sometimes with the 
if you have any older pastes, if you haven't used them for a while, they will thicken up a bit. You just have to add distilled water <clears throat> and it's as good as new. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like I'm trying to figure out how I want to tackle this. I'll definitely be doing the paste and pull method, which means I'll be doing probably a section. I'll paste a section and then peel it up, lay it back down and paste another section. I'm just kind of thinking how exactly I'm going to tackle it. <clears throat> Okay, so I think I'll just do these colors first. So we'll do peony, and then we'll do the raspberry sorbet. So I'm going to move these over here. Okay, so I'm just going to do these hearts in peony. And so I just have put my squeegee in the chalk paste. It is a wet form of chalk. It dries hard to the touch and it is semi-permanent on most surfaces. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to grab my raspberry sorbet. And again, same thing, just dipping my uh, uh, dipping my squeegee in chalk paste. And so I'm just running it down the silk screen material, making sure that I get all of the silk screen covered. Whoops, I went a little too far. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to get my squeegee lines smoothed out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this section. I'm going to grab this detail tool has a pokey end on one end because I got this pretty far up in there. I can't, I couldn't get to the, <clears throat> I couldn't get to the edge. So I'm just going to peel it up. I didn't get that part. Very well. Okay. And then I'm going to dry it. Time I, Jason says every time I say raspberry sorbet, I think you're going to start singing Prince. No, no singing tonight, but yeah, it makes me want to say raspberry beret. <clears throat> so I'm just going to give this a quick dry so that I can lay my transfer back down. And so I'm just going to make sure that this next line is good and adhered. <coughs> and so that line will be silver. So I'm just taking a little squeegee, which is one of the mini squeegees that I cut in half. You could also use the multi-tool. And I'm just again dipping my squeegee in the chalk paste. And I'm just going to I'm going to try to go side to side so that maybe I don't get into the bottom or the next line. I have a tendency to get a little carried away. And so I'm just dragging it across the silk screen material. Smoothing out my squeegee lines, making sure I've got all the dots to the eyes. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to pull that section up, see how it looks. <clears throat> I'm 
just as a reminder, <clears throat> all of the shimmer paste do take a little bit longer to dry. So just keep that in mind as you go. Okay, so then each other is in raspberry sorbet. The little dots and the banner are in peony. And so I think I'm going to do the each other. So I'm just going to put dip my squeegee in the paste. Making sure I try to get all the parts of the letters. <clears throat> and then I'm going to be brave, and I think I'm going to do um, the banner really quick and the dots. I think I can. I think I can go quick. We'll see. With the new formula, you're supposed to have a little bit more working time. And with the previous formula, um, those were those that each other would have dried on me too fast. But hopefully, it won't dry. But I'm going to try to even it out as good as I can. see what we have. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, so far so good. And this, luckily, this transfer does have some built-in um, distressing. And let me, I'll show you what, <clears throat> if I can show you what I mean. See in the word direction, oops, where am I at? There's little specks of the teal transfer in the letters. That's where, uh, especially you can see a lot of it in the N. <clears throat> so those are built-in um, distress um, patterns. It's not really the word touches. Um, so it has some built-in distressing. So if you happen to miss a spot, it's not really um, very noticeable because of the built-in distressing. Okay, so the next line is uh, in silver. It's looking in the... So I'm just going to use <clears throat> my, sque my little squeegee again. I like to use these little squeegees when... Uh, details are close together like this. If I try to use a larger squeegee, then I end up pasting into the parts that I don't want to paste into. But you're welcome to use a, a larger one. So we've got that part done, and then we'll do the two hearts in raspberry sorbet. It's hard to do with that big squeegee. Okay, so we'll pull that section up. <clears throat> Get 
my dryer out. If you're just now hopping on, say hi in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. Also, if you wouldn't mind hitting that heart button, um, if you wouldn't mind uh, spreading the chalk love around Facebook or YouTube, whichever platform you're on. Hi, Stacia. You're watching from home. <laughs> Uh, we are using this month's Club Couture, which you should probably, you probably um, will be getting soon. Um, so the next section, I'm going to do same direction. It is in Raspberry Sorbet. And then, darn, I should have done the arrows. Those are also in silver. <clears throat> so since this is the larger section, I'm going to do same direction in raspberry sorbet. So I'm just taking a good amount and getting it on my squeegee. And I'm just gonna drag it down the silk screen area. Being mindful of that line that's below so I don't go too far. I have a tendency to do that. Get a little too carried away. <clears throat> Okay, try to even out all my squeegee lines. Put the excess back in my jar. And then I'm going to grab my silver again and I'm going to do the arrow really quick. I could probably do the rest because we have a line of dots and then we have um, the Antoine de Saint, I can't speak French, so I'm not even going to try, but it's the quote author. Um, but I'm old school, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. Hey, Ashley. Uh, I just got my detail too. A little piece right here that's I didn't quite get my E. So let's see what that did. Then we have a line of dots and then the quote, um, I don't know, I forgot what that word's called. Oh well. We have two more lines left. So I'm going to do the dots in um, silver. Source, quote source, I think is what I was wanting to say. Just didn't come out. <clears throat> okay, so there's silver. So I'm just putting the excess back in. And then the last line 
is in peony or peony, however you prefer to say it, depending on what part of the country you're in. Okie doke. Let's peel that up. Okay, so I'm just dropping it in my water. I won't leave it there too long. It's going to get all of my mess put over here, put my lids on. So again, we used peony, shimmer silver, and raspberry sorbet. So those are the three paste colors that come with the Club Couture Transfer this month. I'm going to give this a good dry. Side. Um, we're going to wash the transfer. I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean your transfers and two, um, I just like to clean mine right after I'm done with them so that there's less staining and they're just easier um, for me to clean that way. So you can use a kitchen sink, utility sink, bathroom sink, bathtub, shower, or you can just use a disposable tub like this. Um, thanks, Jason. So I'm just kind of scrubbing it along the bottom of the tub just to kind of help get some of that paste off, especially the stuff that dried on um, at the beginning. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my board eraser. Um, me. I can't see very well. And then I'm just going to take my wet board eraser and I'm going to just uh, kind of run it on the top side of the transfer to get a lot of that paste off. <clears throat> hey, Kendria. So did everyone have a good holiday? There's still a lot of pink in there. I can see it. So I'm just trying to get all that paste off of the, out of the silk screen. If it stains the transfer, it'll still work. But I want to get as much of that out of the uh, silk screen as I can. I'm still just kind of scrubbing. Kendra says her holiday was pretty good. Um, mine was good. Got to spend it with family. It was quiet. It was crazy. It was 80 degrees here on Christmas Eve in central Kansas. And then on Saturday, on New Year's Day, it was one degree. And actually, it was in the negatives on Sunday morning. Okay, so now I'm going to take it out of the water. Still, there's quite a bit of raspberry sorbet on the transfer. So now that it's out of the water, I'm going to try to give it a good scrub again. My board eraser is falling apart. Okay, so now I'm going to get 
a disinfecting wipe out. I think the silk screen is just stained a little bit, but I think it'll still work because nothing is coming off of my... So, okay, now we'll flip it through, flip it over and get whatever paste may be on the back. Uh, hey, Bonita, you're fine for being late. You're not late. And if you've missed anything, you're welcome to go back and watch the replay. Kendria says it was warm here in, and you're in Mississippi, correct? In my crooked letter, crooked letter I. <laughs> It was warm in Mississippi on Christmas too, and now in the 30s, which is cold for the South. Now, you people in the South that aren't used to all this snow, so we don't usually get a lot of snow. Okay, so I'm just I've taken a um, disinfecting wipe and I've wiped it off the back. It looks pretty good. That raspberry sorbet it, it does stain quite a bit but nothing's coming off so I think I've got got it all off okay so since I'm done with this and it's all clean I'm going to take the backer sheet and you can leave it to air dry sticky side up for 10-20 minutes um but I'm notorious for forgetting that I've got these drying and I'll leave them out for a week. So once I've finished wiping off the back, I just put it back on the backer sheet. And actually I think they're easier to put back on the backer sheet when they're slightly damp. So once that dries, that'll be ready to go back in my storage um, system. So I'll put this away. So we'll get our project back out. Ashley says she can't wait to get your January transfer. I just got mine. Uh, it took a while to get it. They are, if you do order, they are backed up in shipping. Um, but they're doing the best that they can. Okay, so now to embellish. I have some of this, I believe it's called sachet ribbon. You're technically supposed to pull it out like this, um, but I just like to use it as ribbon. Um, and so I'm just going to wrap it around a few times like I usually do. And I like this ribbon because it's variegated, so it's the light pink, the dark pink, and the white. And it does have some sequins in it. Um, so it will kind of uh, pull in the silver. Uh, I, you know, I mentioned earlier that we tore apart my craft room and built a new desk. And I had been missing this, these scissors for, gosh, months. Well, I found them. I found a whole bunch of stuff that I hadn't been able to find. So that was kind of fun. So I'm just going to I'm gonna tie this on kind of over here to the side. Oops. Just in a knot. And you can pull this apart once it's on the frame if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. And so then I'll just do my loopy bow. So I'm gonna leave myself a tail. And so then I'm gonna make the left bow, the right bow, the left bow, The right bow, the left bow, the right bow. We'll do one more. Get some of that dark pink in there. And then I'll grab my scissors. <clears throat> I'm 
And so then we'll just add this to our knot. I'd like to find some little embellishments to put on here, but I don't quite know what. I'm still kind of into jingle bells, but I don't think those will work for Valentine's Day. So then I'm just going to cut these off. So then we've got a just kind of a floppy bow. I do have some of these little hearts, but I don't know how. I don't know. I'll figure out how to do something. Thanks, Kendria. Thanks, Jason. So here's what it looks like. Just simple, easy peasy. Um, the nice thing is, is um, this is a reusable surface. So once I'm done with this Valentine's Day transfer, I can wash it right off and we can start, we can put another design on there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we have a little bit of housekeeping. I don't know what I want to do first. I actually, I do know what I want to do first. I wanted to do this at the beginning. Um, you know, we had the, <coughs> excuse me, the winter warm up catalog released on December 8th. And so I wanted to show you some of the product that came out in that catalog. So this is one of the, <coughs> excuse me, this is one of the jar cutouts. It's kind of hard to see in the packaging. So let's just take it out. It probably kind of glares a little bit. So this is the jar cut out and it goes along with the jar um, transfers. So that'll be, those will be fun to use. Anita says that's sweet. She says she can't wait to get hers. You're going to make it for your daughter and son-in-law for Valentine's Day. That'll be great. I really wanted to swap out um, teal for the silver. I probably should have, but I didn't. So we've got the jar cut out and the jars, and these are eight <coughs> by about five by eight. So that's a pretty good size jar cut out. And they are front and back if you so choose. I also got um, the Valentine's Day minis. I'm going to make a cute um, banner with these. So stay tuned for that in the next couple of weeks. <coughs> my apologies if you hear water. My son is home from work. So he is um, showering away the cozy smell. So, And this is the Heart and Home Collection Kit. So this is an all-in-one kit. You get everything you need. And so let's open this bad boy up because I've been anxious to get this one. So this comes with everything that you would need to complete this kit. It is also two-sided. And actually, I don't know if I still have a picture of this or not. It doesn't look like I do. Nope, I got rid of it. But you can see that it makes, you can do either love or home with the blocks and the transfer. And so it comes with your transfer. So you can spell out love and home. And then it says you can either do love is in the air or welcome home, home sweet home, love you forever. And then it comes with four paste packets. So you get bright white, candy apple, shimmer gold, and ocean mist. You get uh, your mini squeegee. <coughs> you get four color trays. You get your paintbrush, which I love these paintbrushes. And then you get... Um, your block set 
which I've now lost my scissors. Probably right in front of my face. Now I have so much room on my desk, I can't find anything. <coughs> so then it also comes with these blocks. And there's some cute little hearts, some little cutouts in here. So you get the heart cutout that matches this heart. And you get the home cutout that matches this home. You get a couple of little glue dots. And then you get your blocks. the way so you put <coughs> this block here these two go on top and then these two go on the side so you have l-o-v-e or h-o-m-e and then um, this block is for is in the air or sweet home for welcome so yeah i'm and you can paint these, you can stain these. <coughs> Excuse me. All sorts of fun things. So I'm excited to do that. So that'll be a project in the next couple of months or weeks. Months. So hopefully this week or next week we will get to that. And then just want to remind you about, and I believe this kit is, $39.99. So that's pretty reasonable for two different projects. And then <clears throat> Kendra, Kendra asked us if I'm getting sick. No, I've been sick. I was sick in November um, with a sinus infection. And then <clears throat> I said, uh, so if you've been on the beginning, I apologize. You'll hear this again. But my running joke is that I can get... Um, I can get pink eye or athlete's foot and it will go into a chest cough and it will stay around for months. So I was sick in November. I <clears throat> uh, thought I was going to escape having the lingering cough, but I have the lingering cough. And for a while it was getting better, but <clears throat> the last couple of days, um, <clears throat> it is not any better. So my apologies for hacking and coughing and for popping... <coughs> in a cough drop but I kind of missed you guys so I wanted to wanted to get back on okay one last thing really quick just a reminder that this is the club couture transfer for the month you get the three paste singles it is $19.99 a month the only way to get this transfer is to be a club couture member or a chalk couture designer so you can sign up at any time during the month while supplies last uh, it's free shipping for the kit. Uh, there is an, a minimum of a three-month commitment, and then you're welcome to cancel at any time after your three months. In addition to receiving this kit, you also get um, one of the perks to being a Club Couture member is getting $4.95 flat rate shipping on any additional order. And then there's also special offers and deals um, throughout the month um, per Chalk Couture. So <clears throat> that is this month's Club Couture transfer. Um, just a heads up, be watching my Facebook business page um, and, and or my Instagram page. There is a creative kickstart that will be launching next week. Um, I got to order my kit this morning. Um, there are some felt add-ons <clears throat> in the kit, so you'll want to be watching for that. And if you haven't joined Club Couture this month, uh, this month would be a great month to join because you get 50% off of that Creative Kickstart kit um, price if you are a Club Couture member. So all of that information, the link to join Club Couture is in the description of the video. I've also supplied a cart link for all of the supplies that I used tonight, except for I used a Grayson board. A 9 by 12 Grayson board, but I did substitute a Sylvie board. Um, I believe it's black with a white frame or vice versa. It's the same chalkboard surface, but just has a, a thicker frame. So the Grayson is no longer available, but I had one in my stash, and so I thought I'd use it. So <clears throat> it is good to be back. 
hopefully um, I won't be hacking and coughing the next time. I'm unsure about Wednesday. I may have a work um, conflict, um, but if not, then I will definitely be on. But I will. Um, so my new schedule is Monday and Wednesday at 745 Central and then Saturday at 11. <clears throat> Depend, uh, some of the other days I may um, surprise you with a pop-up live every now and then. Um, but I needed to scale back a little bit so I could spend some time with my family. Um, you don't think that going live is very time consuming, but when you do four or five a week, it, it gets kind of time consuming, although it's fun, but it's time consuming. So, um, that's my new schedule. I hope to see you Wednesday. If I don't see you Wednesday, then I will definitely see you on Saturday. I'm glad that you all had a great holiday. Happy new year. Many blessings in 2022. And thanks for watching and have a great evening.